In this video, we are going to see how we can restore the database. In order to restore the database, first we have to open the terminal. That we can do either by pressing Ctrl Alt T button or we can go to uh, window option and open the terminal. Then we are supposed to enter as a root connect to the database to check which database we are going to restore and where we are going to restore so i will first connect to mysql and for that the command is mysql space minus u space root space minus p and then i hit enter and then it will connect to my database now you can notice here that it is already showing the my MariaDB. Now I will write the command show databases. It will show me all the available databases. So you can see Koha underscore library is my database. So generally what happens if you are going to restore any database, it is better practice to remove the old database create new database with the same name and after that you restore so there will not be any issue in restoring or there will not be any issue in overlapping so what i will do i will first drop the database i will write draw space database and write the database name and then semicolon and hit enter so exactly what it is doing, it will delete my existing database Koha underscore library and again I am going to create uh, the same database name Koha underscore library. So I will write the command co create space database space Koha underscore library and then semicolon and then hit enter. So you can see one database has been created and after this I will come out of this my square so again i am back to my root you can see root at the rate localhost and to restore the database now i'll write the command my square minus u space root space minus p then i'll write the database name where i'm going to restore the database less than sign and then <coughs> i'll give the path from where it will connect and take the back uh, uh, connect the database to restore so my database is available at desktop with the name 10112024.sql and then i'll enter the password so you see it is restoring it may take little time and that time you have to have patience do not disturb the system if your database file is big it may take little time so <coughs> after this you can see that the database has been restored now you can open the browser and give the enter the address to connect Koha staff interface you can see it has successfully now I'll enter the user ID and password and see my database has been restored and I am able to access the same Koha which I was using earlier I mean I deleted the database and then created new database and restored now so this is the process to restore database using terminal hope this video will help you to understand the process of restoring database if you have any question or query you can drop me mail or whatsapp me on the whatsapp number thank you very much